Hey, what's up, everyone? Joy Allison, the Nintendo Brony here. Joy Allison, um, was it Games and Reactions? Sorry, guys, from. I fell asleep last night. So, this is coming out a little bit more later. But let's get this reaction done because I need to hurry up and do this. Oh. I literally just woke up. I'm not gonna put no intro music or anything like that in here. Let's just get this done and over. Control the thing. That. Trying to do the thing. Ah, uh, you freaking piece of crap. Smaller. There you go. Freaking no. Sorry. Uh. Okay, guys. Without further ado, let's get into this. And. What? With this, I'm gonna just speak loud. So, without further ado, and we're gonna have to watch it like this because I'm not sure how Daily Motion does with this. Reason Daily Motion. If I hadn't fallen asleep, I probably would have watched, been able to watch the episode upload right here, cutie, on YouTube before it was blocked by Hasbro. So, uh, you can blame me for that, guys. Anyways, Fluttershy lands it. Let's go. Angel Bunny, what? What the heck, Angel Bunny? Seriously? Um. Oh, be careful. Angel Bunny is like a freaking daredevil. That's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Freaking. I was just like, <laughs> well, it's good. It's good also you got Fluttershy. Oh, no. Uh, oh, dear God. That's got to hurt. At first, I thought it was dead for some reason. I'm all out of bunny foot braces. I think we need to pay a visit to Dr. Fauna. The uh, Dr. Fauna? Is that like the vet Is that the vet's name? Oh god, <laughs> the face of the thing is just like, oh. We can't see the same, but <laughs> the door is stuck, so I, um, can't see you. Oh. <laughs> oh, somebody hurt his foot. Let's bandage that up so we can get back home. I'd like to keep him overnight, but as you can see, my place is just bursting with Oh god. <laughs> I don't think I can take any Everyone needs help with animals. right now. Well, you got Fluttershy to help. I'm sure Fluttershy would be happy to help. Oh, dear. Oh, God, it's cold. As you can see, I literally just woke up and I was like, oh, shit. I didn't my include it. Pony, my that crap. Okay, so do all the intro goes. Well, this, this morning, I literally just woke up earlier, a few minutes ago, 
It was like, oh shit, I forgot to do my reaction. So yes. So I just grabbed Shasta. I didn't even grab a cop. I was like, grab a drink. We need to react. Um, so yes, I'm doing this. So I want to double make sure. Make sure that my reaction is blocked. Oh my god. Oh. So I'm hoping I just dump for a little mix up and then me. You really have your hooves full here. Yeah. <laughs> this place is like a zoo. Again, it's the life of a like vet. That, but still, oh, I can't keep up. <laughs> oh my god. The animals. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, I was about to say these animals seem okay. more more freaking mean anyway. than Angel, but then he did that, and I was like, no, I and Angel Bunny is still a devil. <laughs> yeah. Every day there's more and more animals on my doorstep. Most of them just have minor ailments, hurt wings, stuffy noses, and such. But the trouble is, even after they are all healed up. I can't seem to get these comfy critters to leave. Oh, what about their owners? Are these wild animals? Really? Really? <laughs> really? I wonder why they chose to flock to um, my office. It's been a while since we got fun shop so I got happy sense. for this, you know? It's been a while. Dr. Fauna, you're the best vet pony in Equestria. At least that's what I've been telling every pony. Uh, you did what? Oh, uh, but what? Oh, so they are what? from the owners. I suppose it's my fault? But, so don't want the own shouldn't the owners make the animals come back once they're... animals feel safe and happy under your care. <laughs> hey, seriously, why are the owners? I don't mind if a snake wants to slither in or a raccoon needs a rest. But now this place is so full, I have no space to treat any injured animals. That is a big problem. Yeah. That I'm going to fix Make them leave. I already have Remember when... that'll make the critters happy and it... give you more space. Then ah. you'll have all your ducks in a row. <laughs> oh, poor Angel. I never thought I'd say that. The sooner you fix it, the better. I'm on it. <sighs> what I was going to say is, to um... <laughs> a friendship problem? No. The vet clinic is a bit, maybe, um, overrun with adorable critters. Are there many sexist pets there, too? To lay their heads and um. They don't have anywhere to go. Oh, um, what, is it, what was I going to say? Are the main sexist pets there, too? Um, what is it? Owlicious Tank, um, who we saw last episode. Chat Tank. Let's just tank um, Gummy, Obalescence, and Winona. Right, the other oh, five pets awful. there. I know. We should get rid of that yeah. about there. That's for good. It is my face cam's bigger. I don't know where about it. So helping her out is a okay by me. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you out okay. <laughs> I'll get out of you, Okie. It's been awesome. Pinky said that. I'm happy. <laughs> Pinky said, Okie dokie, Loki. It's been a dream of mine for a long time. Oh, Pinky! It's your dream to make a bouncy castle shaped like a gigantic bunch cake? Um, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pinky. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so, it, Spill! My dream is to build a real animal sanctuary. Beautiful habitat where every animal, or sick, or scared, or even just lonely, feathered or furry, scaly or slimy, every critter would be welcome. My sanctuary can be the one place in Equestria they call home until they feel ready to take on the world. Oh, that's actually really adorable, guys. 
I've never heard you speak with such conviction. Yeah. Oh, that was exquisite. Pretty <laughs> awesome. So we're getting more into the Fluttershy. I love getting in depth with the characters. This is good. 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 This From Winona sheep herding competitions. Right. Hmm. She's is an it expert in animal enclosures. Or oh, is it an old oh, character? Oh, oh, I know some pony too. Hard hat is the best construction pony in pony build. Okay, it's definitely a new character. Hard hat. Is he like a construction worker? I'll mention these experts. I am reminded that I too have the perfect pony to help capture the essence of your vision. To give it some style, some flair. <laughs> is it you, Rarity? <laughs> no. Um, I was referring to the premier interior designer of the Cantalot Elite, Dandy Grandeur. He so are these all new characters? Wow, Hasbro. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I like new characters. <laughs> new characters are good. Are we gonna see these mentioned characters that Rarity, Applejack, and Pinky mentioned? There's Hard Hat, I'm guessing. There's the... And the... I rarely mentioned. Thank you, Rupert. A butler snake, that's... That would freak me the fuck out. I went to a restaurant. I'm gonna do a few pause, re um, pause and then react. Because I, can be I can't hear it when I'm talking. So... I may miss a few words, but I think they're the same things we heard. So I'm gonna do this a few times so that because I need to keep it quiet enough to where you can hear my voice. This is both, so I can react without missing too much, and in case you know it is still too loud, and that way I can um, what is it you know you can hear me right now. So anyways, what was I going to say? Was um, if there was a if I went to a restaurant and a snake was serving me, like a snake just came up and served my food, I wouldn't grab the thing. I wouldn't grab the whatever foods on there and say thank you. Um, here's your tip. No, if there was a snake serving me, I'd be running the fuck out of there. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> no, that that pretty much would I be. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Mm. So many nice things to say about each of your talents. This is a big project, so I'm happy to have such experienced ponies working on it with me. Rarity has impeccable taste in design and friends, mm. so I can't wait to work with you, you know? Uh, I think so. Yeah! <laughs> I'm just looking forward to helping you out, man. And the animals. Completely different personalities. So, uh, Pinkie Pie said you drew up some blueprints? Um, not exactly. Has, it's more well, of I a guess dream construction board. worker would help, has probably helped with some of Pinkie Pie's parties. So I guess that's how she knows him. <laughs> that sure doesn't look like an animal hospital. Well, that's because it's not. It's a sanctuary. A place that is safe but not restricted. It's not a Cozy. hospital. Cozy. It's a sanctuary. Get right. Come and go as they please. <laughs> <laughs> so. What the heck? They're so confused. <laughs> oh, we can't ignore that face. <laughs> what the heck? He's with those faces. Aren't you gonna I help? <laughs> You were recommended. <laughs> oh, that's how they're gonna be able to help. The construction worker is going to help with the this building space. But I don't want to clear the trees. I want to use them. Are you sure? 
What you're talking about doesn't really seem like a cohesive structure, or any structure I'm familiar with. It's the new structure. Okay, dude, can you take on the challenge? Help the animal. That's because we're trying to do something that's never been done before. But I really believe it'll work. Yeah, he he doesn't really make the plans for construction. He follows the plans All right, then. and executes well, it, you know, do. and you know Spanish gets it done. He's that wants. kind of job. Good. He doesn't plan how to build. I know she thinks she knows what's best, but once she sees how much better works with no. these plans, no, 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 <gasps> no, no. <sighs> They're all gonna do it wrong. Loving the print on those. Um, not to be rude, but there must be some mistake. We have no need for curtains at the sanctuary. And why ever not? Everything is natural in the animal habitats, not like it was made for Why ever not? All the shades of brown and green, but they're so drab, you know. What's sure him? Input, but I just know the animals would be happiest with dirt brown pillows and leaf green accents. I'll look into it. Thank you. Wow. When a client has a vision, don't cancel it. No wonder Sometimes everything's don't cancel it. Everything's don't cancel it. It's a dirt pack, except for the royalty. Especially if it's dirt brown. God, jeez. What's she gonna do, though? Oh. What is it, Sugar Cube? I'm looking for something less like a cage. More yeah. Like a <laughs> That's what she's gonna do. Lose that part. Uh, well, then it wouldn't be a cage. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a cage. <laughs> That's the fucking point. <laughs> they shouldn't feel imprisoned. Imprisoned, you, you know. Sure, you don't want something more secure for the critters. She does have a point there. You wouldn't want a bunny wandering into the wrong cave, would you? No, no cages. I want to give yeah. the animals Yeah, <laughs> because you don't want the animals to feel in prison. You want them to feel free. <laughs> Not like well, you can only come boss. out when I tell you to come out. <laughs> Seriously, though. Oh my god. All of these people. Wrong recommendations. Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie. What the fuck? <laughs> Fluttershy, I told you we'd be fast. Almost finished with the building already. How? The color just pops, you know? Quite roomy inside, really, and very safe. Don't keep us waiting, Fluttershy. Do you love it, or do you love She's it? She's gonna hate it! <laughs> just I, say it. I don't love it. This is not going to work at all. Yes! Did you yes! through this door? With these curtains blocking the light, how are the birds going to sing in the sunshine? And this is the opposite of a nice hug. I know you all worked hard, but none of you did anything I asked mm, for. Yes. That's not true. We used the trees just like you asked. And that curtain fabric is organic. It's got natural fibers. You and I added pillows inside my cages. That's just kill you. feeling like a hug. I may not know much oh about my construction, God. These or three. interior design, or rank, but I am an expert at one thing. The care of animals. And what animals need is a sanctuary. Yes. Not this. Maybe your vision wasn't all it was cracked up to be, you know. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you stupid, stuck-up snob. So yeah. I appreciate your efforts. I no longer require your services. Ooh, just get fired! <laughs> they just got fired. <laughs> oh, the animals have been so excited for the sanctuary. They couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> Can we take a look inside? Oh, um, actually, it's uh, not ready. <gasps> Here they come. <laughs>
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Fluttershy. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. Not you, those three so douchebags should be sorry. Imagined. Those three douchebags that Applejack, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie mentioned. Tracy. Sleep tight, little one. It's oh. Let me guess, in the end, there is no sanctuary. Well, that's bad. I thought I'd have a beautiful sanctuary for you all to stay in by now, but I put my trust in the wrong ponies. It's okay, Fluttershy. I know you did your best. Well, they, but we they, can make this work here. What, what were they It'll doing? be a bit uh, uh. tight, but with your help, We'll have these patients back on their paws in no time, even without a sanctuary. No! I won't give up. These animals need me. Yes! Are we gonna have a sanctuary by the end of this episode? Is that what's it? Is that what's it? Is that what's it? <laughs> That's supposed to be cute or just funny? Oh, for some reason, Barrow's laughing. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone back to sleep now. Thanks oh. for coming, every pony. As you know, building the sanctuary didn't go quite as planned. I know, right? Who would have guessed that Hard Hat wouldn't build whatever you want? I never would have invited yeah. Dandy to help if I thought he'd act in such a manner. <sighs> and yeah. And sure made a fool out of me, too. I'm sorry, Fluttershy. It's I guess okay. they never but received that side of their... Those people, so... Sometimes you just so don't know certain things. Do so yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to rebuild the sanctuary and do it my way this time. Oh, you shut up! That's the spirit. How about putting an awesome flying course for the birds right there? And a Ooh. carrot cake stand here! Ooh, a library cave? Every pony stop! Oh. I appreciate you sharing your thoughts, <laughs> but I need every pony the to respect The bird racing things sound mine. good, sound fun. But <laughs> she even she even her friends have bad ideas, so she's like, all right, stop! Your ideas are terrible. Wow, we should call you Flutter Bold now. I didn't really hear what Pinky said, but I heard the library came from the toilet. Really? <laughs> Familiar. Freaking that episode. The hook fields are in the cult. Shout out to that episode. That was that was like back in season five. So that's that's good. So they won't have a boat by the end of the episode. I can already see that happening now. <laughs> Hey, Applejack even got Big Mac to help. <laughs> nice. Hey, yep. Hey, nope. <laughs> and Spike too. And Starlight. Freaking yes. Who else is helping? Who else? Um. And the CMC are helping too. Yes. Yes. Oh yes, that's good. It's good. CMC, Starlight, Spike, Big Mac, and Mr. Um, the the cult guy. Oh, I'm more excited than a beaver in a log pile. Okay. Oh. <laughs> a beaver in a log pile. Welcome to Sweet Feather Sanctuary. Scootaloo help today. Cozy for yeah, does anybody like Scootaloo? Anybody want some? KFS Kentucky Fried Scootle? Okay. I'll stop the memes now. <laughs> I'll stop the memes. Oh, Fluttershy. 
This is amazing! Now you should have plenty of room at the clinic, because once you've treated them, they can recover here. With my help, of course. Aww, and a sloth. It's okay, Lola. We all move at our own pace. <laughs> that reminds me of the sloth, the sloths off of Zootopia. <laughs> that was funny. Say, mm. um, trying to remember what some of the things you say exactly, I complete sentences. <laughs> oh, is it a flash? That's right, that's Sloth's name, not Flash Entry. I meant um, that, that Sloth's name was Utopia. Okay, then. Well, guys. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. That was a very enjoyable episode to watch. And now that I face cam, I realize I don't have to check up there anymore to make sure in my notifications that the thing is still running. Like for example, right there, there's a thing. Before, I always check for that little notification, the M and the little recorder thing. That tells me I'm recording currently. So yes, yeah, stays. Mm. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. There were some things I wanted to mention. Now that I have enough time, even after the video, I want to talk about them. Please stay. This is a very important subject I want to bring up. There have seemed to be more suicides lately. One of my girlfriend's friends shot themselves because their boyfriend broke up with them on prom night. And <clears throat> that's one of them. And also, some of my friends on Google Plus they suicidal or just depressed sometimes. And as for just depressed sometimes, there's also one way I want to end some of the suicides that are going on. Or just some of the depression at the very least. And that is with the fact that could MLP be a cure for depression or suicide? MLP could be that. And it has somebody who who, what is it, when I first met them, told me about this. How MLP is the only thing I was saying, and they would kill themselves if MLP Season 7 wasn't a thing. Luckily, we're going on much longer than we assumed. When it, was, it was when I was talking about, what is it, if Season 7, if Season 6 is the last season. This is before we got confirmed on Season 7. And since Season 7, now we have Season 7, and we've been confirmed for Season 8 next year. So, here we go. But anyways, so they're not killing themselves anytime soon. MOP has been their, what's been making them feel better, but one thing that's been making them sad is their family doesn't, is always telling her to, like, what is it, get off, you know, that stuff's babyish and childish. It's not making me feel, like, her family is a total, complete bitch to her. So... Um, guys, if you're a brony, or not just a brony, anybody who enjoys Sunday night that, that might be out of the ordinary, do not let anybody decide what you enjoy. Never let anybody decide what you enjoy. Let the haters go hate somewhere else, you know? Stand up for yourselves. Just about every day, I wear a belt with derpy on it. I've shown that off before. Um, um, I even play my 3DS in public with all the freaking MLP stickers on it. Never let anybody decide what you can enjoy. Never let normal trends decide what makes you happy. You know, guys, and here's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to start with bronies. This summer, I'm going to do a video, a group video, with... X Mary Video Productions, which is my friend, 
that I was just talking about. She has a YouTube channel, so please go check her out. I might link. I don't know how to link a channel, so I'll link one of her, either her channel or one of her videos, down in the description below. X Mary Video Productions, one of my friends on G Plus, one of my bestest friends on G Plus. So go subscribe to her. Go follow her on G Plus. She's really. She's a really good friend, you know, um, was in so are some of her other friends that I've met along the way. So, yes. <coughs> and by the way, never claim Rainbow Dash be your waifu or the Ronin Notion. She will get mad at you. <laughs> she is very sensitive about that, so yeah. Um, if you claim this to be your waifu, she's going to kill you. Um, so yes. It's going to be about more in depth of bronies. So people who aren't a brony, if you're a Nintendo fan, please watch this anyways. I want anybody, everybody, non brony or brony, on my channel to watch this. This is an important message. It's going to go more in depth to bronies that people should probably know about bronies, and more than what they just see on the outside. I'm going to go about a little bit history of bronies. And, um, uh, and I'm also going to explain why I like it. And I'm also going to have X Mary Video Productions explain her struggle. And she's going to be one of the, what is it, lead parts of it. <sighs> she's going to be one of the lead speakers of it. And not just her, I'm also going to try to invite Jeffrey St. John. My friend who owns the Bronies and Pegasus community, who in which I help moderate it. Me and him moderate, so that's a good thing. You know, you should always visit that community. I'd be happy to see you there. Feel free to tell me if you are from a YouTube channel anytime on a post of Google Plus. Feel free to just say, hey, um, I know you from your YouTube channel. Like, and tell me how long you've been watching. You know, have you been watching since the old channel, or have you like, just started now, or like, probably a few months ago you just started watching the channel? This channel, this channel specifically is one year old now, so thankfully it's an anniversary of that. Not really sure what I do for an anniversary of it. And also, if we can get to 100 subscribers, I'd be happy to get 100 subscribers special. But anyways, I was going off topic there. It's going to be on Hangouts. If you want to join, please do. Um, you can join the call or you can join in the chats. However, I'll apply to some of the text chat, but I'll mainly be focusing on the call. So, yes, hey guys, that's how it's going to go. I'm going to give a link to the uh, group Hangouts um, two days before the video event starts, and you guys can come. So I'll make a video with that link. Anyways, guys. Oh, let me know. Let me know it's getting ready, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank you all for watching. And see you next week. Bye.